everything over here is devils departing and angels ministering Holy Ghost of God in the earth today Holy Ghost of God in the earth today The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words my name is Andrew Hemstrott thank you for joining us if this is your first time here make sure you subscribe if this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you then consider becoming partner with us tonight I'm gonna to be talking about angels and demons and I've seen a lot more angels than I have demons and that's the way it ought to be first Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 1 says now concerning spiritual gifts brethren I would not have you ignorant or now concerning spiritual things or things pertaining to the spirit I would not have you ignorant who is the Spirit the Holy Ghost is the Spirit so things pertaining to the Holy Ghost God does not want you ignorant look down at verse 7 1 Corinthians 12 verse 7 the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with other translations say for good and profit so the manifestation of the Spirit revelation of the Spirit is given for you to profit with say for me to profit with now I've been given a manifestation of the Spirit and come to think of it it came by an angel for these last days there is a new manifestation of the Spirit that we can profit with a new manifestation of the Spirit in our day for good and profit one that has you worship the Holy Ghost as God in the earth something you didn't do before therefore it's new but you must come to this conclusion that the Holy Ghost he is God he is in the earth and you should therefore worship him when you do this sets in order many things say many things the first of which is you you get set in order you were out of order you didn't think so but you were even though you were fully saved fully filled with the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in other tongues and attempting to walk by faith in the earth out of order still in order is this that the Holy Ghost is God he's in the earth and he's the one you walk with and worship today that's being in order I have all of my stuff in order when I know him as God and walk with him in the earth he's the only part of the Godhead in the earth today that's me in order so first I get in order and then listen then the devils and the angels get in order are you here your worship of the Holy Ghost sets them in order second Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 17 says now the Lord is that spirit what spirit are we talking about the Holy Ghost now the Lord is that spirit and where the Spirit is Lord there is liberty where the Spirit is Lord me 
that's where I am now the Lord is that spirit and where the spirit is Lord that's me in order this is where I've come to this conclusion that the spirit is Lord and that's where I am say the spirit is Lord and that's where I am therefore it goes on to say where the Spirit of the Lord is or where the Spirit is Lord there is Liberty Liberty is freedom freedom from what you say well number one freedom from demons right having demons is bondage freedom from it so where the Spirit is Lord I'm set in order and there's liberty for me which means the demons are also set in order this make sense and it goes on to say and we and we are changed into the same in, image from glory to glory even as by the same Spirit the Holy Ghost and that just means we go from glory to glory with the angels so the demons are set in order and the angels are set in order are you here Matthew chapter 4 verse 10 here's Jesus talking thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve well we just found in 2nd Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 17 that now the Lord is that spirit the Holy Ghost this says thou shalt worship the Lord is the Holy Ghost God yes he's the only God in the earth today here it says thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve listen to me here is the divide people love to be sanctimoniously offended over this word only but I didn't write it no Jesus said it thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only I worship the Lord my God and him only don't get offended over that word only there's only one God in the earth today then and then only do the devils depart from you and the angels come and minister to you how do you know this verse 11 Matthew chapter 4 verse 11 then say then what does then mean then after verse 10 then comes verse 11 then the devil leaves him and behold angels came and ministered unto him when did the devils leave after Jesus worshiped and him only did he serve and when did the angels come after worshiping the Lord thy God and him only 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 did he serve herein is the divide everyone wants to have verse 11 without doing verse 10 frankly I think people like their devils so there's a whole spectrum of blessing that comes on the other side of worshiping the Lord thy God and him only serving everything before you do that I call pre worshiper or regular Christianity and it all amounts to a struggle a struggling with demons a lack of angelic favor and help but over here over here where I worship you Holy Ghost only there's Liberty freedom a Liberty and freedom you couldn't have as a pre worshiper everything over here is devils departing and angels ministering devils departing angels ministering say devils departing 
angels ministering where worshiping the Lord my God and him only serving Jesus said thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve then the devil leaves and behold angels came and ministered to him Bible in Matthew chapter 26 verse 53 Jesus said I could call 12 legions of angels many estimate that to be around 30,000 angels seems like that would be enough Jesus said I could call 12 legions of angels Hebrews chapter 1 and verse 14 are they not all say all all ministering spirits talking about the angels sent forth to minister for them who shall be heirs of salvation who are the heirs of salvation you and I we are the heirs of salvation are they not all ministering spirits sent forth how were they sent forth by the spoken word the angels are sent forth and they're all say all ministering spirits sent forth to minister for us all of the angels all of them all the angels here's a good example second Kings chapter 6 and verse 8 and we see Elisha here and the king of Syria then the king of Syria warred against Israel sound familiar and took counsel with his servants saying in such and such a place shall be my camp <laughs> verse 9 and the man of God sent unto the king of Israel saying beware that thou pass not such a place for thither the Syrians are come down and the king of Israel sent to the place which the man of God told him and warned him of and saved himself there not once nor twice what's that mean at least three times this happened verse 11 therefore the heart of the king of Syria was sore troubled for this thing and he called his servants and said unto them will you not show me which of us is for the king of Israel thought he had a spy in there right verse 12 and one of his servants said none my lord O king but Elisha the prophet that is in Israel tells the king of Israel the words that thou speakest in thy bedchamber and he said go and spy where he is that I may send and fetch him and it was told him saying behold he is in Dothan verse 14 therefore sent he thither horses and chariots and a great host and they came by night and encompassed the city round about verse 15 and when the servant of the man of God was risen early and gone forth behold and host compassed the city both with horses and chariots and his servant said unto him alas my master how shall we do second Kings chapter 6 verse 16 and he answered fear not for they that be with us are more than they that be with them verse 17 and Elisha prayed and said Lord I pray thee open his eyes that he may see and the Lord opened the eyes of the young man and he saw and behold the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire round about Elisha so there was more with Elisha than all of the king's armies that surrounded them are you here and the story goes on it's good for you to read but that was my point there's more that be with us than be with them and you may not see it but there are more angels working on our behalf than there are demons and devils revelations 12 verse 4 implies that one-third of the angels fell from heaven which meant two-thirds didn't fall 
that means we outnumber them two to one pretty good Matthew chapter 12 and verse 30 he that is not with me is against me and he that gathers not with me scatters abroad well he that's not with me is against me who could that specifically be talking about the devil the devil's not with us he's against us right he that gathers not with me scatters abroad also could be talking about the devil devils scatter but the angels gather we have more that be with us than that be with them choose your side choose your side don't be a pretty worshiper those who don't know any better but learn to worship the Lord your God and him only serve it's in the only that the struggle subsides devils depart and angels come and minister to you are you hearing this there's a liberty living behind the curtain living BTC behind the curtain and there is a new manifestation of the Spirit on this side of I worship you Holy Ghost only where the Spirit is Lord and becomes the Lord of spirits say the Lord of spirits and the devils all depart and the angels come and minister to you a new manifestation of the Spirit for you to enjoy and live in Holy Ghost I thank you for these people that they have begun to worship you as God in the earth today and know you as the Lord of Spirits and the devils depart from them and the angels come and minister to them and take them to a place of greatness that they could not go before we worship you Holy Ghost in Jesus name Amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost I worship you you are God the earth today I give and it's given unto me good measure pressed down shaken together running over do men give into my bosom Satan take your hands off of my money and angels go and cause money to come in. I have more than more more than more than enough in Jesus Father is in heaven Jesus at his right hand Holy Ghost your God in the earth today